Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jimmy and this is JD Recording and today we're going to talk about ASIO for All and having multiple studio audio interfaces hooked into the computer. So stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back. So today I want to talk about the ASIO for All driver and how I've got it set up and how you can use it to run two audio interfaces into the computer and have Studio One recognize both of them and use both for inputs and outputs. So let's get started. Uh, I'm already in a session uh, recording the audio for this. So if we go to the I.O. setup, this will take you to where it is, but we'll come back to this page. If you go over to the options, you'll see the ASIO for All version 2 driver, and that's showing up as our audio interface. Uh, if we go into the control panel, um, you'll notice that uh, you'll have all your interfaces that can accept audio into the computer, and you can turn them on and off. And if you expand them here, you'll actually see all the available lines that you have for your ends to record in and out. So as you can see, I've got most everything checked except for the ADAT, We're, I'm working on that. I did have one and two set up, but that's for another video. So I turned all the rest of them off and then everything on the Studio Live uh, is all right here and it's all turned on. And let me check that, these are all lines in. So that's what it's gonna show you. And if you don't see this, or you don't have the expandable options here, if you click this button right here, it'll change it back to the simple view, and that doesn't give you the option to select the channels you want. So if you click on that, then you're able to actually see all the channels that are available. Now, if we go back into here, and we go into our I.O. settings, one of the little things that I don't like about it, which there's not much you can do about it, is none of these channels are in line. So as you can see, all of my inputs are all over the place, and you really can't just have a simple line coming down that you know where the channels are, and they're not in order whatsoever. Um, so that's one thing you got to watch out for, because every once in a while you'll find that the computer will move them, and then you'll have to come in here and reset these up. And I always make it my default. That way I can come right back to it and just reset to the default and to new songs or anything else I'm doing. Um, but again, it gets annoying, uh, especially when they're all over the place and it takes you a while to find them. Luckily, it does for the Studio Live show the SL and tell you what line it is. Uh, it does not say 8 and 9. It'll say 8, 1, or excuse me, like 7 and 8. It shows you 7, 1, and 8, 1, uh, or 8, 2. And so it can get confusing, and you just got to watch what you're doing, and you'll have no problem with it whatsoever. Um, if you come over to the outputs, it's the same kind of deal. Uh, I like to label everything, as you can see, and it's all going to outboard gear. But... It's not in a nice, pretty line, so you don't get that nice look and clean look. Um, but everything's in there, and everything works, and you shouldn't have any issues. Um, the one issue I have run into is if I'm recording a lot, or i am just been down here and I've been mixing or mastering anything, um, every once in a while, the Studio Live will flake out, and I believe it's because of the Ozio for All driver. I've read about it. Uh, other people have had that issue. I found just turning the studio live off and then back on again uh, seems to solve the problem for a little while or just restarting the computer. Um, I would suggest not unplugging the USB and then plugging it back in. It will change all of your channels in here again, and you might have to go reset everything up. So just watch out for that. And other than that, it seems to work good. Um, I do want to try this out on a Mac. Um, it's all built in on the Mac, so you don't have to have this separate driver that's not supported anymore. So I'm working on 
uh, getting a Mac in here so we can give that a shot. And then I may do a video on, on that and then also possibly do a video of which one I like better. Uh, I've always been a Windows guy, but I've been really looking at the, the new Mac minis. Um, seems to be pretty powerful. So I'm trying to get one, get my hands on one. And if I do, we'll, uh, shoot a little video and I'll let you guys know. So stay tuned. I'm going to have more stuff posted soon. So hit the like button, hit subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.